When you understand how these two fields that are so critical to the functioning of the modern world operate, you'll understand the importance of writing and literature in this space as well. When you have publications preferring a certain kind of narrative, preferring a certain writing style, othering some minority writers or, you know, representing them, you know, whatever the choice may be made over there, that choice has an impact on, you know, public perception of people. So I would say that, uh, you know, the first thing to understand when you think about the role of an author or any piece of writing or any kind of narrative in shaping public discourse is to think about how your choice of language can shape perception, right? So you could be say, conveying the same message in different words and, you know, achieve a very different result. Um, a very common example that's cited for this is that, you know, when you're quoting uh, the math results of school children, you could say something like, girls are as good as boys at math, right? You're conveying a certain message when you say that. But equally, you could say it that boys and girls are equally good at math, and that conveys a very different message with the same fact. Um, I'll comment a little bit on my experience prior to starting writing more regularly a few years ago as well. Um, so as mentioned in the in, uh, introduction, I work in marketing. I've done that for a number of years. I have also studied public policy, uh, public administration and global affairs. And in doing that, in both these very different spheres, uh, what I found, um, uh, these things actually have shaped my understanding of the importance of public discourse, for example. So as a marketer, uh, in order for people to buy a product or service that I'm trying to sell, I need to create a narrative around that, right? So I need to create a public perception through my words and communication that, you know, something is good or something is bad. What is the impact of buying something or not buying something? You know, similarly, and I was quite surprised when I learned this, but, um, and, you know, maybe this is common knowledge for many, but politicians have an entire PR team working for them. They have an entire communications team that manages crisis, right? So it's not just a policy element of it. It's a communication and public perception of, you know, the message that they're uh, sending that becomes really important. And when you understand how these two fields that are so critical to the functioning of the modern world operate, you'll understand the importance of writing and literature in this space base as well, right? So creativity is, um, creativity is, of course, a more authentic form of human expression. But, uh, you know, when you have um, publications uh, preferring a certain kind of narrative, preferring a certain writing style, uh, you know, othering some, uh, you know, minority writers, or, you know, representing them, you know, whatever the choice may be made over there, uh, that choice has an impact on, you know, public perception of people you know, how certain uh, nationalities are represented, how certain ethnic groups are represented in common literature, in, you know, even in movies, for example, that starts to shape people's understanding of who they are.